is in equilibrium. The concentrations of the reactants and the concentration of the products remain steady. Because the concentrations of both reactants and products are not changing, it is possible to calculate an equilibrium constant for that reaction. However, what if the calculation for the equilibrium constant does not match the accepted value for the KC of that reaction? Hi, Mr. B here. In this video, I will explain how to determine whether or not a reaction is in equilibrium. Consider the following practice problem. At the start of a reaction, 0.249 mole of nitrogen gas and 3.21 times 10 to the minus 2 mole of hydrogen gas and 6.42 times 10 to the minus 4 mole of ammonia are allowed to react in a 3.5 liter vessel at a temperature of 375 degrees Celsius. Now you're asked to determine whether this system is at equilibrium. At this point it is appropriate to write the proper equilibrium equation where nitrogen gas reacts with hydrogen gas to produce ammonia. For this reaction, the accepted value for Kc will be 1.2. Since moles were given in the practice problem, at this point it is appropriate to calculate the molarity of each species. The molarity of the nitrogen is found to be 0.0711 molar. This value is determined by dividing the moles 0.249 by the liters, 3.5. The molarity of the hydrogen gas was found to be 0.00917 molar. And the molarity of the ammonia was found to be 0.0008183 mole. And the molarity of the ammonia was found to be 0.0001183 mole. Now insert these values into the Kc expression. For this reaction, the Kc expression will be concentration of ammonia squared divided by the concentration of the nitrogen times the concentration of hydrogen cubed. After performing this calculation, the final answer is 0.611. Since the original Kc value for this reaction was 1.2 and the calculated value from this data is 0.611, what I've actually calculated in this case is called the reaction quotient or simply Q. After calculating the value of Q, it is now possible to determine in which direction the reaction should shift to reach equilibrium. In general, if the reaction quotient is greater than the Kc value, then the reaction must shift to the left. If the value of Q is less than the value of Kc, then the reaction should shift to the right. If the value of Q is equal to the Kc, then the reaction is in equilibrium. In this case, the Kc value for this reaction was found to be 1.2. But the reaction quotient calculated was found to be 0 0.611. 
0.611 is clearly less than the Kc value. So in this particular case, the reaction must shift to the right in order to reach equilibrium. In other words, before this reaction will reach equilibrium, the concentration of the products must increase and the concentration of the reactants must decrease. Here is another example of how to determine whether a reaction should shift to the left or the right to reach equilibrium. Thank you.